Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn here. And I figured I would pop in and do a little haul. So recently I decided to take part in the Sephora, like I think spring savings event where it's like, if you're VIB, I think you, uh, if you're Rouge, you get 10%. If you're VIB, you get 15%. And I think if you're, whatever the levels are, you get 20%, right? Uh, and I'm the middle tier because I like makeup. You know, I'm not at the top tier because, you know, trying to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm smart with my choices, but I picked up a couple of things that I've been having my eye on eyes on for a while. And, uh, I also got sent some things from a brand that you can find at Sephora. So I want to share that with you. So, um, I didn't buy a lot, but I spent a decent amount, <laughs> I spent a decent amount. So, um, and some of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you are brushes and listen, because I use them today for this face. Okay. They're not clean. You know, I'm listen, they'll be fine. You've seen used makeup brushes before. It's not a big deal, but I did want to share these brushes with you. I got a couple of eyeshadow palettes, um, two lippies, a primer and one skincare product. And then I'm going to share with you some things that were sent to me, which is so exciting. So First, let's just get into what I feel are like the least uh, interesting things, which is a primer and also some skincare. So the first thing that I replenished um, is this Glow Recipe. This is their pour, their Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner. So I use what witch hazel as my regular toner that has rose water in it but i've really been enjoying coming behind the witch hazel with this so i'll just put a little bit in my hand because it's a little bit thicker than witch hazel and so i'll put a little bit in my hand and i'll like pat it onto my face and my neck and my decollete and um i've really been enjoying this and this is about all that i need i do use it twice a day but this this is the smaller version and um it lasts me a really, really long time because you don't need much, but I've really, really been enjoying it. So even though I have oily skin, because I'm getting older, I really am focusing on like putting moisture into my skin so that it doesn't crack or wrinkle as, as much or things like that. So um, I've really been enjoying this. And let me see, the scent... I mean, it's that classic glow recipe scent. If you and I have the moisturizer in this, and I have the sleep mask in this, all in the smaller size because I have recently become a skincare junkie, and so I go for the smaller sizes because I'm using multiple products at a time. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I picked up is I replenished the Hourglass Veil Primer, the Mineral Primer, and this is just the little small bottle. Um, so I'm almost done with the one that I have. But again, because I like makeup is like cooking to me. So I have lots of ingredients, uh, so to speak. So I have more than one primer. So again, I don't need the big one. So this lasts me a really little time. And I can tell you, I just love products that are in glass. Like it's just a thing for me. But I really, really like this for like a smoothing effect. I can't say that this necessarily keeps me matte. Um, but I do like the smoothing effect that this has on my skin. So at some point I probably will go ahead and invest in the larger size, but until I run out of all the primers that I have, that's what I'm going to be using for right now. So, okay. Not that those are boring things, but those are like the non makeup -y things. So let's get into these brushes. I picked up one, two, three, four. I picked up six brushes during the sale and that is because Sephora had 30% off of their brushes or their brands. And that reminds me, I did buy a whole bunch of like Sephora masks and like um, sheet masks and things like that, that I don't have out here readily available, but I bought like three or four of the sheet masks and I bought like the eye mask and I bought a lip oil, which I really, I really like the Sephora lip oil, surprisingly. Um, I think it's somewhere in my purse because I've been carrying it around with me. So it's not going to be in this haul, but just know I got a Sephora brand lip oil and I really, really enjoy it. So I picked up some brushes. Here they are. As you can see, some of them have already been used. So let me start with my, um, probably like my least favorite. So I did go in store to feel these, right? And I, you guys, I have been on the hunt for a foundation brush that I really, really like, and I still really haven't found one, but this is the Pro Foundation uh, number 70 brush, and I do like a flat top brush, 
for my foundation, but I found that this is way, way too dense. Like when I went into the store, it was a little bit more spread out. Like the bristles were a little bit more spread out this way. This is very straight up and down. It's kind of rough on the skin. I do like the shape of the brush and like the handle. Um, now for blend, for like patting in foundation, like if I was just a patter, then this would be fantastic if I was just like a pat of foundation in person. I'm a buffer, right? I'm a swirl and twirl, patty to pat, pat, buff, 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 buff kind of girl. And so, um, so I don't think the brush is bad. I just think for the way I want to use it, this isn't the right tool for the right job, right? So uh, pick this up. I'm still gonna use it. I still really, really like for patting out because I don't like the swirl and twirl and you know things on my concealer. I do like to kind of pat, 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 pat. So this is perfect for that. Now I needed some new blush brushes. And so I picked up two brushes i picked up the number 96 and the 99 and as you can see they're kind of similar in i mean in shape but one is longer and one is short shorter i really like these like one is really great i don't do a lot of highlighter but if you if you do highlighter you could do that i do like a shimmery blush i usually use a shimmery blush as my highlighter but you can use number 99 for the top of your cheeks and then i've been using number 96 to like do blush all the way up into this part of the face, right? So, and I love the length of the handles because I can either go close up or I can come far out. And usually if I'm doing blush and I'm kind of like, I, I'm a buffer, then I'm coming pretty far out so that I have a really light touch or I can come mid range if I'm trying to pack on a color or something like that. So number 99 and 96, I have really, really been enjoying. And I'll see if I can link all these products in the description bar below in case you want to check them out. So then I got a new um, bronzer slash contour brush and I love it. And this is, this is the brush that started off. I have seen so many people um, use this brush. It's called the powder fit, the pro powder 50. I, I love this. It, it just fits right here so well. So if you look at it from the side, right, it's pinched, pinched at the ferrule, but then it kind of flares out and then it kind of comes to a point. But then when you turn it sideways, it also kind of comes to a point. So what I feel like is happening is when I'm putting on the bronzer or the contour, like the product, I'm, I'm, I'm angling the tip of the brush right into the hollows of my cheeks but then all of this taperedness is just blending it for me and so it just makes a fantastic blend like I had a contour and um, bronzer brush that I really really enjoyed from BK Beauty but I saw people using this for blush and then when I got it I was like oh my gosh I would love this for contour and bronze and so I just like I'm holding it back and I'm just doo -doo -doo. I, I love it okay so then Two brushes that weren't on my radar, but when I saw them, I was just like, mm. now one of these is Vicky J. If you don't watch her YouTube channel, when she pulled out this brush, I was like, I'm buying it. I have not used it yet. I have rubbed it across my face a couple of times. So there's a, there's a little bit of product on it, but I haven't used it yet because it's just so wonderful, big, soft, fluffy, and pretty. And it is this one. Do, do you see this? This is now they say this is the Pro Bronzer 80. I this is a this is an all over powder brush. Can you look how it's a great microphone? Oh, yeah, like <laughs> singing is not my ministry. Oh, yeah, like I love this. It's so soft, and I could just see just buff, buff, buff. You know, if you use like a finishing powder or an all over face powder, like if you wanted to just kind of like get that soft, blurred effect this brush would be the brush and I it's so soft that it's one of those things where I don't want to use it because then I'm going to have to wash it and once I wash it it may not be as soft as I would like it to be but this is number 80 and I I I love it. and like it the fact that it's like tapered all the way up but it's round all the way around it's just I mean look at how big it is compared to my face and y'all I have a big head okay listen and don't tell me I don't have a big head I know I have a big head I'm not ashamed of it I'm just honest about what I got going on I, I loving this and then this one I picked up this one this is number 59 um this is also a powder brush it's not 
as soft as the 80 but this would also be great for blush right so if you didn't want something as pointed as these which I love I used to have a much cheaper brush that looked like this which is why I tossed that brush out when it broke and was like I'm gonna replace it with these because I kind of like concentrated color on the cheek but if you just wanted more of a wash of color right on your blush and you just wanted that diffused kind of look then this would be great or if you just kind of want to powder under the eye or just powder your t-zone right this would be fantastic I have not used this one yet like I said some of these just came in the mail not that long ago but this is number 59 so this is the Sephora Pro collection they have multiple collections of their brushes but these are really really soft you know I haven't really transitioned into like food a style brushes which I really want to um, but I'm really trying to find a foundation brush that I like and when it comes to natural hair brushes like I use a cream I, I use a liquid foundation and so liquids don't do well on natural fiber brushes but as far as powders listen I, I will be inching my way into some food a style brushes because when I watch some of my favorite YouTubers like Kinky Sweat or Michelle Wong and their and, and Kelsey Brianna J and they're using their food a style brushes I just be like this looks like it's just buttery gliding across the skin so I also picked up two lippies from NARS and one I'm wearing I mean it's layered with some things but I'm wearing one and I these I found these to be so intriguing so I realized that I'm not huge into matte lipsticks like I think even when they were like really really popular I wasn't really like oh my gosh I need a matte lip but I do like the staying power of a matte lip I just have never liked the feel of a matte lip conversely I like the look and the feel of a cream lipstick but sometimes they just look like they were sitting on top of my lips and so I was like mm, I like that but then also <laughs> my favorite is probably a gloss but sometimes they were too shiny like kind of I y'all don't don't hurt me I'm not a huge fan of the Fenty gloss bombs like I have some and I'm just like I never reach for them they're not bad they're just for for the look that I like they're a little bit too glittery and shiny for me so I was in this dilemma of like I want opaque color but also I want staying powder but I don't want it to be too shiny and NARS came out with these matte lip balms and when I was like lip balms because I have some of these like lip balm things from Pat McGrath but they're kind of shiny and I enjoy them but sometimes the shine is a bit too much and I prefer something a little bit more subdued on most days and so I picked up two of their matte lip balms and I believe these are limited edition so the color I'm wearing today is tease me it is a gorgeous color um, and I have I have a, a few things like mixed in with it, but for the most part, this is true to color. I just wanted to give it a little bit more shine, so it's not shiny like this at all. But it feels like chapstick, but it's opaque, like a matte lip. It's 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 a very interesting sensation. And then I, the other color that I picked up is Dangerous Affair, and this is much darker. Okay, and this will be great for like the fall and winter. I mean, you can wear whatever color you want all year long, but this would be great for the fall and the winter. But since they were limited edition, I went ahead and picked them up. Love the container, love the weight, right? They're kind of, they're you know, they're weighty, they're substantial. Um, and I love the shape of the bullet. I like, I have uh, several lippies that have kind of this, this angle style bullet. And I just, I, I absolutely love it. And the square design sits really well inside of my lipstick case holder. So, okay, so two lippies. So now let's talk about the two eyeshadow palettes that I got during the sale, which one of these, well, both of these, these are not new releases at all, but I've had my eyes on these for some time. So the first one, I didn't have my eye on as much as the second one I'm going to show you, but the first one is the Natasha Denona Biba palette. And I, let me tell you, my first introduction into Natasha Denona was last year with her bronze palette and I immediately fell in love with the formula and so if you've ever really paid attention to my makeup looks they're pretty neutral glam like um soft glam natural glam like this is I don't wear I don't do a 
whole lot of color. I mean, I'll do like purples and plums and things like that. But, you know, you're probably not going to see me in, you know, a seven color eyeshadow look. It's just probably not what I'm going to do. But this is the palette. And I was like, I wanted a palette that had like all of my everyday basics, right? I mean, the, the bronze palette is that. But also, look at this. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's, I, you know, the light is definitely washing it out. It's much deeper in person. I did go in store and swatch this before I purchased this. Um, but, you know, you kind of have like your warm new, uh, neutrals uh, or uh, natural colors, your more neutral natural colors, and then you have their cool. And even out of the cool, I, I definitely am not a cool eyeshadow wearer, but there are a couple of tones that I really um, like even in that section. And this palette has a lot of her different, like, very popular textures in it. I will say this. This palette on my skin tone is, like, very natural. So if you are, like, wanting color that's really, really going to pop and stand out and you're my complexion or deeper, this is not that palette, right? And so, you know, at the price point, you just have to decide, like, if this is something that you want. But I know this is something that I use all the time um, just because it has the transition shades I want. It has, you know, the outer corner creasing that I want, things like that. I don't have it on today. Today I have on um, Pat McGrath, which I could probably do a whole separate video on that. But between Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona um, and also Tom Ford, right now those are probably three of my favorite eyeshadow textures. And all, lots of her textures are in here. So I debated about whether I was going to get this during the sale because the whole reason for me participating in the sale is the palette that I'm going to show you next. Okay. So the palette that I've been looking at for probably a year and the reason why I was debating about it is just like what I just said is that I don't wear a ton of colorful eyeshadow looks, but I wanted to have some quality colors in my collection and I didn't have these particular colors and that palette um is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette so this is what it, the case that it comes in and this is what it looks like okay so this palette has like your teals your greens your blues um, you know, various shades of like orange and terracotta and yellow. And it has a couple of neutrals in here, but this is, I mean, you know, you have this pop of red right here. This is definitely giving me, you know, aqua gold dreams and lots of textures in here. And this is one of her like foam board palettes. And so here's the thing. I really debated about this palette because one, because I don't use these colors often, did I want to invest in a palette at this price point? And I did because I love her. I like the formula is just it's 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 probably my favorite. Hers and Pat McGrath's are probably two of my favorites. Like when the experience of putting them on my eye, it's very pleasurable, very smooth, very creamy. It blends so easily. Like I know you hear people say this, like it was like very buttery, but I I get it, right? And so this is my Third big palette from Tush and I have one smaller one that I had purchased previously. So this was the whole reason for me participating in the sale. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to get it, I might as well get it while it's on sale. And so that is what I decided to do. So I picked up the Metropolis palette as well. So guys, in the midst of that, right, I get an email from a company that I had been seeing making waves with some of my favorite YouTubers. And I had kind of been eyeing some of their lip products because I told you I tried that lip oil from Sephora and I was really, really enjoying it. And then Lisa Eldridge, which I have some of her lip products, has like a lip oil slash gloss that I also really, really enjoyed. And I realized I was like, oh, this is my new favorite type of lip gloss. It's kind of like um, a tinted lip oil, right? So I was kind of eyeing this company and lo and behold, I get an email from them and they asked me, they were like, Hey, do you want to try some of our products? And I was like, yes. So that company is Merit Cosmetics. You probably have seen them like floating around on the interwebs. I think they just launched in January. Uh, and so they sent me the cutest package. I've already unboxed it, but look at the bag that it came in. It's like this corduroy bag. It's so, so, so cute. So it came 
with this little card and it, you know they believe that less we believe that less is more and like you guys know like even though I have on a full face of makeup like my makeup is never like aggressively in your face so they were like hey pick up some products that you want to try and so I did so the first couple of things I picked up are so interesting they have what's called the minimalist perfecting complexion stick and so I picked up two of these so let me tell you what's interesting about these is these aren't necessarily a foundation and they're not necessarily a concealer they are a complexion stick which means you can use them however you want to use them so I picked up two shades um, or I selected two shades and I when I tell you I just love the packaging I like packaging is part of the experience of makeup for me like yes I want the product to be quality and I want it to last and be really well but I also really enjoy packaging so this is what the complexion stick looks like so I have two colors here I have chestnut and I have sepia and I love it because this is this is what the bullet looks like I'm giving you classic old-school youtuber hand here right and I have you been using these a couple of ways so and here's the other color that I have okay I have been using these a couple of ways I've definitely been using them as like under eye brighteners right because one of the colors um, is a little light for me but it's is great to add like some highlight to my other eye I've also been using these as like eyeshadow base which I really love it and I love the fact that the texture on these it's like so soft and creamy on the skin um, and I don't even know if you can see that that's how just how wonderful that is you can probably see it right there and here's the thing even though I have oily skin um, these work for me because typically I will shy away from anything that's like cream like cream foundations and stick foundations all that I usually shy away because a I have very very oily skin and B I live in Texas where it's hot and humid and that's not happening but these particularly when I wear them on the other eye the staying power is great they are moisturizing without being too emollient and I love it so I picked so I selected two of the complexion sticks and been loving those and then I also picked up they have a what's called a day glow highlighting balm which I have not had a chance to try this and again not something I normally would pick up because I, I one I'm just not a big highlighter wearer but look at this packaging can we talk about this this is gorgeous look at that so what's great and I picked this up in the shade bounce and look at this it's 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 like this I don't know you can you see oh yeah you can see that but you could put this underneath blush which is typically when I wear highlighter how I like to do it is uh the, you know when I do do it is you could put this on bare skin you could put this underneath blush you could put this underneath eyeshadow and this is kind of like a rose gold kind of color but it's just so smooth like look at look at the look at how it blends like and so when it blends out it just gives you like do you see that oh my gosh so I'm loving that like I said um, this for me perfect for the winter time when my skin is a little bit drier um, I get a lot of natural glow <laughs> being a oily girl and then they also have blush so this is their flush balm cheek color I picked this up or I selected the color mood right and look at this first of all the container it couldn't be more cute and I picked this color up because I thought it would look great on my skin tone and what's great about this is like it gives you this beautiful sheer wash of color again you could wear this on its own like if you're having a no makeup makeup day you could put this on top you could put this underneath blush you could probably and they didn't say this, but you could probably dab it on the lips, right? And, you know, if you're somebody, I love to layer blush. If you're someone who is super into cream blushes, this, I just think this is gorgeous. I think the color is just like, I like, a, as you can see, like, I like a soft wash of color. So 
But here's the thing, I like a soft wash of color, but on my skin tone, it has to be pigmented and then I can wash it out. So, or I can thin it out or sheer it out. So loving that. And then let me get into which are probably the three favorite products that I picked up from them. So the first thing is, it is called the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. And oh my goodness, first of all, I told you how I feel about packaging. And I have really been getting into brow gels and brow pomades because I have a very non-existent brow, okay? All of this that you see is enhancement, okay? But let me tell you, this just, it looks luxe. It looks great on my vanity. I love it. And it, so it looks great, but it also functions well. And this, this is it. Can I, can we get into this? Can we talk about how pretty this is? Can we? Oh my gosh. But here's what I love about it. So it looks like a, a shorter, like mascara tube. It's got some decent weight to it. And so, you know, it's, it's, there's the divide, right? To unscrew it. But when you unscrew it, you're probably thinking, oh, this is the wand. No, the long side is the wand. And let me tell you why I like this. Because sometimes if the wand is too short, your hand is pressing up against your face when you're trying to put the brow pomade on. But with this, I can hold it out on the end and I can go through and put the pomade on my brows. And the brush is great. It's not too big, not too goopy, all that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So probably one of my favorite products that I got from them. But the thing that I told you about that I was most excited about were the lip oils. And I grabbed two shades. These are the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oils. Okay, so I picked up two of these and the colors I picked up are Pink Beet and Marrakesh. And let me tell you, I have been wearing these out when it's particularly when I'm doing like a less than like super glam day like I'm filming lots of videos today so there's a full face of makeup on but like on my everyday or even with the full face of makeup let me tell you these are my kind of colors like doesn't this look like what I have on but first of all glass packaging which I love the gold tops are gorgeous these fit into my lipstick holder because I have gotten some products from other brands that don't fit inside your classic like lipstick holder. So loving these. Um, this one I think is Marrakesh and this one is Pink Beat. And so when you open it up, you know, standard doe foot applicator. But let me see if I can find a place to put this. Like look at the color on that. Right? And it feels super, super moisturizing on the lips like even as the shine wears off I, guys i'm not the best at watching even as the shine wears off and the moisture kind of soaks into your lips it does leave a tint and these are so gorgeous so these are the tempted lip oils from merit so thank you so much to merit for sending these to me i'm so excited i have really 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 been enjoying these and i had my eye on these and guys they have other products like i think they have a um a brush and a couple of other things so I'm excited to see what else they ha are going to be coming out with as their brand expands and evolves so check these out so listen you guys is I hope you enjoyed this I haven't done a makeup haul video in a long time right but if you want me to go through like I bought a lot of makeup last year if you want me to go through like my blush collection or my luxury lip collection or my eyeshadow collection and all that kind of stuff I'd be happy to do it. I don't have a massive collection like beauty influencers, but I probably have a little bit more than, you know, the average everyday woman. So let me know if you'd be interested in that and I will see you in the next video. Peace.